Hello friends, today let's see how to do a topologic sort in a given graph. First, let's see the definition of a topologic sort. Let's see, a topological sort of a directed graph is a linear ordering of its vertex such that for every directed edge uv from vertex u to vertex v, u comes before v in the ordering. What is the application of the topological sort? Actually, the vertex of the graph may represent the tasks to be performed, and the edges may represent the constraints that one task must be performed before another. So that means actually topological sort is very useful. And let's see how to perform this algorithm. Actually, we have two choices. One is to do a breadth first search. Another is to do a depth first search. In today's video, I will explain the breadth first search. First, we need a, a in-degree array. That means for every node, we will count what's the in-degree of this node. For this given graph, we have an edge start from A to B and an edge start from A to C. So that means there is no in degree of the node A, but there is an in degree one of the node B, the same to the node C. And for the node D, we have two in degree. So first, so we need uh, this in degree array. Why do we need it? Because as A do not have any in degree, we can perform it at first if it represents tasks. So we can pick A first and next we try to pick another node next. This is the in degree of this given graph. We will perform BFS and we first uh, offer this A into the queue. And uh, then while this queue is not empty, we will pause the node of the queue. So current node is A. We will check all the neighbor of this node. That means this B and C. And currently what we need to do is to decrement the de in degree of these two nodes. That means now the in degree of B is zero and the in degree of C is also zero. Because we already performed this task A and now we can perform B or C. That means we just remove this node A from this graph. Okay, then because this in degree of B and C are also zero now, we can perform this two task. We can offer this B and C into the queue. And now the queue has B and C. And we do the same thing. We are in the while loop. So we pull a node from this queue. We pull B. And do the same thing. We check the neighbor nodes of this B. We'll see we only have D and we decrement the in degree of D. So that means now currently the in degree of D is just one, right? Okay, then we pull C from the queue and check the neighbor nodes of C, that is D. And we decrement the in degree of D. So currently the in Degreement, uh, the in degree of D is also zero. And uh, now we can offer D into the queue. So in the end, we can generate the order of A, B, C, and D. This is the topologics ordering of this given graph. But we may also, we may possibly get A, C, B, D because this B, C do not have a specific order. Actually, they are in the same level. So this is the two possible topological 
salty odor. Let's see, we may have no topological salt. Like in this example, A have in degree 1, B have in degree 1, C also have in degree 1. We do not have any node that only has in degree 0, so we the Q at first is empty. So we cannot generate any ordering. There is no topologic salt ordering. And for this example, at first this A has in degree 0, we can offer A into the Q. But next we will see B have in degree 2 and C also have in degree 2. They will not be offered into the Q. So we can only generate A, right? But originally the size of this graph is 3. So that means they are not equal. So we cannot get a valid top sorting. Okay, that's the topological sorting. I hope you already understood it.